Well, welcome back to the second week of Developing Resilience. I'm here with Rick. We're taking a little coffee break, and we thought we would check in with you to see how your action plans are going. So how is it going? How have uh, folks been doing in, in developing a plan, perhaps implementing a plan? Maybe some of you have even moved forward enough to evaluating your plan, checking in on how you're doing, or, or maybe checking in with others. If you haven't developed a plan, that's okay too. Uh, as long as you're recognizing perhaps some of the challenges that you've had in developing your plan and deciding on how to get over those challenges or barriers. All right, so if we're checking in with them to see how their plans are going, we told them last week we made plans too. So I guess we should check in with each other. Um, Rick is my accountability buddy, but first, how's your plan going? My plan, yes. One of the things that was on my plan was prioritizing action items in my plan or on my to-do list. And one of my um, big priorities was getting ready for this module, Sarah, um, so that we're ready to shoot today and obviously enjoy our coffee together. Uh, some of the other things on my action item list were less important. Those things can wait until later. So I've been working on journaling and I have bought this journal, so it's a, a predetermined template, and I write in it every day. And one of the things that happened in the last week is it prompted me to say, you know, what were the three things that were most on your mind today? And then at the end of the day, it asked me the question, what do you wish they had been? Mm -hmm. And I think just that twist of, of taking some of the stressful ticker tape that was running through my mind and getting me to think about it, what is a more positive way of thinking about some of these things, it was really helpful. And I also think being able to read back on mm -hmm. the things that I've written day after day helps me see trends in mm -hmm. the way I feel mentally. And it's really helping me clear my head. Mm -hmm. So it's going pretty well so far. In addition to working on your plan, um, this check-in is to remind you that there are other people working on their action plan to taking this MOOC. And so whether you've gotten started um, or whether you haven't and you might need a little help or motivation, we have some discussion forum prompts that you can use um, to get the conversation going with your postdoc colleagues. Do this check-in just mm -hmm. like we're doing. Um, find your accountability buddy. So I'm glad I have you mm -hmm. to hold me accountable. <laughs> And we created this second week so that you don't have to write that post-it and feel badly that you hadn't had time to focus on it, that you can keep that post-it on your desk with your action plan um, and feel invigorated to keep trying. I would encourage you to uh, please visit our discussion forum. Check in with your um, postdoc academy buddies uh, to see what their recommendations or, or activities have been in, in terms of developing the plan, maybe some of the challenges that they've had and in developing their plans, but also implementing them. Uh, and maybe that advice will uh, uh, give you some good advice for moving your plan for forward. And if not, it's a good excuse to have some coffee. Right.